Good evening, class. How are you? Hello, hello, Miss Claudia Maria, Nelson Orlando, Marianne Scarlett. Hello, do you listen to me, guys? Miss hmm. Celia Cristina, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay, Marianne, thank you for writing. Hello, Miss Celia Cristina. You Hello. are serious today, as every day, okay? <laughs> That's good. That's the attitude to be always smiling, yeah? No matter what. Miss Concepcion Marina is activating the camera, I think. Okay, let's wait for some people. We still have two minutes in order to get a started class, okay? So let me see. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Concepcion finished on time her assignments in the platform, the same as Miss Celia Cristina and Miss Claudia also did it. Marianne, I don't know if you are still owing me something. No sé si Marianne todavía me debe algo para que se actualice. Habían algunos que estaban pendientes aún, ¿verdad? Pero con poquito. I hope that today they are going to complete their assignments. And how was your day today, class? At work? Nice, great, excellent, amazing, awesome. ¿Cómo les fue hoy en el trabajo? Nice. Nice, okay, excellent, awesome, amazing, mm, you know, <laughs> great, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, but today is Wednesday, tomorrow Thursday, and weekend is next door, okay? So uh, we have uh, about um, 30 seconds in order to get started at 8, uh, exactly, and some of your partners are sick because of, you know, of the season, right? The transition because of the, of the flu and the other thing that is around, yeah? So we need to, we need to, to continue, okay? Using, you know, the hand sanitizer. And I don't know if you are in favor or against wearing the face mask, but even though we don't like it, we have to, okay? to wear the face mask, to keep protected and your families too. Hello, Mr. Tony, welcome. It is exactly the time. Thank Pablo you. Alberto, welcome. Okay, I hope that you are ready with your amazing conversation. You finished yesterday. Yes, you finished it. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna give you more time, okay? So you can, okay, uh, reconstruct your ideas and have a better presentation. Okay, class. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you as every single day, Miss Carla Sofia. Welcome, Darío, welcome. Hi, and hi. here we go. Hi, class. I'm going to share my PPT with you so you can have a knowledge about what we're going to be working with. Okay, right now. So here we go. Today is November 16th, correct? 2022. And in our agenda, our, it is our video conference number 11. Greetings as every day. We're going to have a feedback on what we did yesterday. One of you or three or four, I don't know how many are willing to, to read the objectives and we're going to continue describing issues about machinery. We're going to continue working at pages 29 and 30. And again, the reminder, because there are some people who are still owing me, okay? The midterm, just about two or three, and some assignments, okay? Please continue working because you know it is a requirement from INSA4, and it is your commitment, okay? You have to do it. It is not only to be in class connected, but both things, and it is not only the academic work in the platform. Both things are tied. They go together, okay? And a reminder, 
the full time, camera on, the sound off, unless you are told not to do so, and active participation as always. Here, a reminder about the attendance, 120 minutes is what we need to be in class. I'm going to call your name twice in order to take your attendance. And remember to activate the camera when you listen to your name and you say, here I am, or present. And at the end of the class, one of you is going to stay with me in order to have one-on-one -on -one session, right? And here we, we have now, okay? In the Zoom, it is expected that my screen is like this, okay? With all the cameras on, like in the picture. And the mute button for you, camera on, the chats are available. The ask for help button is available for you. And as always, as every single day, I demand from you respect and you have it, okay? So thank you for that. And here, now we are in week number three, from November 16 to November 22 or 22nd. But yesterday I was expecting that all of you had done the homeworks in the platform and mm -mm. <clears throat> no, okay? So at the end of the class, I'm going to double check because in the morning I double check and there were about two people who didn't finish the, the midterm. And actually in the evening, I think someone was asking for help. So in order to avoid that kind of situation, let's try to continue working every single day, okay? For your homeworks. And one more thing, remember that in this section, you don't have an exam, only the next uh, unit, yeah? Very well. And now I need your participation class who wants to read the general objective? Only one. Hello. Only one student. <clears throat> Maybe I. Okay, Tony is going to read the general objective. Celia, the specific objective. I know. And who's going to read the class objective? The class objective goes to. Concepcion, okay, here we go. Let's begin, Mr. Elias Flores. Okay, general objective. Participants will develop competence that will allow them to mark steps in a progress and ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face and telephone conversation with others in work situations. Great, thank you. Ms. Celia? A specific objective. Participants will be able to describe issues about machin machinery. Thank you. Ms. Concepcion Marina. Class objective. By the end of the lesson, participants will be able to use expression for describing uses. Excellent. So by the end of the lesson, participants will be able to use expressions for describing issues. Remember that issues is a synonym for troubles or problems. Yeah. Okay. If you say also, I have a situation with my printer. It's like if you say I have a problem with my printer. Okay. So here we go. Let's get started with the feedback. Here we have, okay? In the feedback, if you remember yesterday, you were reading the article, yes or no? Yes, you did it. And yes. you read uh, the four paragraphs and you answered some questions. So here we go. And paragraph number one goes to, let me see, I'm going to choose the victim. Hello, Miss Wendy. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you back. Okay. Here we have more participants. Great. Okay. So paragraph number one goes to, okay, my mouse is going to tell me, my pointer. 
it goes to Mr. Darío Antonio. Are you available? Hello, Darío. Yes, teacher. Okay, I am par here. paragraph number one is for you. Okay. Pa paragraph number two goes to, let me see. Hmm. I need a lady. Maybe Miss Claudia Maria, are you available? Hello, Miss Claudia Maria. Not available. Okay, she doesn't listen to the teacher. Maybe Miss Carla Sofia listens to me. Sí. <laughs> yes. Okay, there's no way out. No way out, no escapatoria. Okay, uh, paragraph number two goes to you, okay? Paragraph okay. number three goes to maybe... Hello, Norma, welcome. I don't know, maybe paragraph Hello. number three goes to... Uh, Mr. Elias, would you like to read paragraph three? Yes, okay, thank you. Atilio, we're going to take advantage of your connectivity. Yes, paragraph number four goes to you, Atilio. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started, but I'm going to share the manual because you have a better view. Okay, number one. Paragraph, paragraph number one. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assume people know what you mean. With mass people in your office or business, we will be intuitive, intuitive and switch it on. They are not mean readers. And imperative when delivering clear instruction is not assume the recipient recipients now what do you mean and this can be for anything from industry acronyms to to who to who to contact in different departments or organizations i will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details Uh, paragraph number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves love a waffle, dream driving in a maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially no in um, email or... Estoy leyendo en el mío, no sé. <laughs> Okay, hold it because I think somebody touched something on the screen. Okay, continue, Miss. Sorry for the inconvenience. I apologize. Voy a comenzar. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Driving in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in email or when it is a set of instruction. While you don't want to ramble on your set of instructions, that will be a waste of your time and to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and would rather get, and would rather get a strain to be point on what needs to be actioned or delivery, rather than making the instruction to flowery, which will only confuse. Number three, give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different for your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, 
yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days. Then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Atilio, are you here? Hello, Atilio. No lo veo. Mm, he lost the connectivity. Okay, we need. Ah, a... Acaba de entrar. Okay, pero no okay. Le veo la okay. Okay, he's ready just in time. Okay. I'm giving an example. Whenever. Major specifically. Hello. Okay, Hello? continue. Continue. Hello? Yes, we, li we listen to you. Le escuchamos. Continue, please. Hola, nos escucha, Darío. Atilio, perdón. Atilio. Perdió la conexión otra vez. Ay. Creo que sí. Atilio, sí, como que. Pero ahí está Luis Miguel, que Luis Miguel solo gana, dele. Ah, sí, porque yesterday he was absent. That's revenge. Ok, here we go. Luis Miguel, where are you? Hello, Luis Miguel. I'm here, no veo la pantalla. No, I'm going to share it exclusively for you. Don't be okay. concerned about it, no problem. Okay, number four is for you, sir. Number four. Wherever possible, make sure you give examples. This be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or did they haven't carried up the task before. This will help it to us, help to add cl clarity to instruction, instruction and help for a clearer picture of what it is you mean at once. Me trabe todo, pero... <laughs> Thank you so much. And here we go. Here are four, uh, okay, you know, for kind of tips in order for you, if you are a supervisor, a coordinator, um, a team leader, yeah? And you have to give instructions to your staff or to your group. We don't have to assume that they know what you mean. Why? Because maybe in your mind, you have pictured everything and you understand that they, are going to understand your message at once. But mm -mm, the employees are not mind readers. They cannot read your mind. So we need to be very specific. Be clear and specific on what you demand from them. What are your expectations and what your instructions are? Cause and effect, okay? Give frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. Okay, if you say because it is usually uh, very well uh, known that it is urgent. Everything is urgent. I need this. Okay, <coughs> everybody needs everything. But what about the time? You have a lot of things to do, so you need to give a specific time or they a specific schedule for the activities to be done, okay? And accomplish the goals. And give examples in such a way that they are very clear, especially as they are new in the, in the position, okay? So, and later you were, okay, here, completing if, they, if these statements were true or false according to the reading. Later, we went through this and we work uh, working in the completion of these sentences using is there or are there, singular or plural. And this is step only questions. And over here, we were, okay, and scrambling the correct word order in order to build 
simple sentences, either affirmative or negative, but no questions over here because the interrogative sentences were in exercise number one. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, class. So right now I'm going to share with you the following. And here we go. Okay, we were here. And regarding to this, I have this activity for you. You are going to write questions and answers about your house. Use there is or there are. And we have, for example, four bedrooms. You have to build a question using four bedrooms and then you say, yes, there is or yes, there are, depending on how you have built the question, okay? So I'm going to share, okay, this slide with you via WhatsApp so everybody can have it. Okay. Yes, this is the group. Over there. And while you are working in this activity, building the questions either in singular or in plural and providing an answer, but a real answer from your reality in your houses, but short answers, okay? No full answers, only short answers. I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. Okay, what are we going to do in the first part? You're going to build questions, yeah? And in the second part, you are going to write the answers to the questions, but according to your reality, yes? Because it, the instruction is write questions and answers about your house. Use there is or there are obviously in the answers, because remember that we switch the order in order to build the questions, yes? Okay, let's get started. And as soon as you finish, you let me know so we can share, okay? And I'm going to start calling your names in order to take your first attendance. Here we go. Let's see here. Atilio, are you back? Oh, yes, here he is. There he is. Okay, Atilio, thank you. Brandon. Yes, okay, thank you, Brandon. Brandon is not available at the moment. Okay. Claudia Maria. Miss Claudia Maria Guerrero. Okay. She write in the in the Zoom. Oh, she wrote a message. Thank yes. you for telling me. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Concepcion. Present. Thank you, Miss Darío Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Stephanie Carranza. Absent at the moment. Josue. Josue Neftali. At the moment, he is absent. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Marianne. Marianne Scarlett. Thank you, Miss. Eh, todavía no he llegado, pero le aviso yeah. cuando me incorporo cuando yo esté. Okay, but you're a listener. Thank you. Marina Jansi. Marina Jansi. Thank you, Miss Sandoval. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you. Miss Nelly, Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you. Nelson. 
as a teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you, I appreciate. Norma, Patricia? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss Norma. Pablo? Pablo. Out oh, here. Pablo, hello. Pablo. Chat teacher. Oh, chat teacher. Okay, thank you. Sandra Leticia. Miss Wendy. Present teacher. Okay. I was about to say, but she was here. Pero aquí está. Miss Carla Sofia. Present. Okay. Here. And Miss Celia. Over here. Almost always. I see you Present. together. I see you together. Thank you. Miss Celia and Miss Carla. In my screen, you are together i see you together you will see in the in the in the recording of the class okay miss wendy thank you pablo thank you baby be careful with the flu okay class because many people are infected did you finish the activity not yet okay I'm going to share the screen. And as soon as you finish, please let me know, okay? When you are done. Thank you. Okay.
finish building the questions class. Yes? Okay, here in number one, the question should be? There are four bathrooms in your house. No. Are there? Uh, Remember. Okay. Remember to switch. Excellent. Are there four bedrooms in your house? Question number two should be. Is there a big kitchen in your house? Great. Is there a big kitchen in your house? Number three, a dining yeah. room. Very. A dining room in your house. Is there a dining room in your house? What about number four? Is there a front garden in your house? Thank you, great. Is there a front garden in your house? Number now, five, a small, <laughs> a small living room. Is there a small living room in your house? Excellent. And number six, a backyard. Backyard. The question should be? Is there a backyard in your house? Excellent. Great. And here the answers might vary, either affirmative or negative, according to your reality. Now that we have built the six questions, we're going to go over the practice. And here we go, okay? Okay, Wendy, thank you for being here. We appreciate your attendance. Miss Celia, ask question number one to one classmate and you say the question goes to, so that partner gets ready with the answer. Question number one. Question number one, answer Norma. Okay, Norma. Are you there for are there for bedroom, bedroom in your house? No, there are not. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Miss Concepcion, ask question number two to another classmate. Okay. <clears throat> Is there a big kitchen in your house, Carla? Uh, no, there isn't. Okay, now Carla, Sofia, ask the next question. Uh, is there a dining room, uh, Nelly? In your house? Miss Nelly Lilibet. Are you available? Okay, ask the question to another partner, Miss Carla Sofia, please. Um, Hola, no sé si me acaba de llamar, me parece escuchar. Okay. Estoy en clase. Okay, repeat the question. Is there a dining room in your house? <coughs> Miss Nelly Lilibet, do you have the answer? Or you're not available for our class? No, ahorita estoy en otra clase. Entonces no está disponible para nuestra clase. No. Okay. Uh, now, Miss Carla Sofia, because she's not available for our class, ask the question to another partner. Uh, Tony. <laughs> okay. Is, is there a dining room in your house? Yes, there is. Okay, now you, Tony, ask the next question to another classmate. Norma, are you available? Yeah. Okay. Is there a small living room in your house? Yes, there is. Okay, now Miss Norma, ask the next question to another partner. Miss number five. Yes. Okay, is, is there a small living room in your house? 
is for don't know, uh, Luis. There is, yes, there is. Okay, now Luis Miguel, ask question. The next question. ¿Cuál era? Perdón. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. It is a backyard. A backyard oh. number six. Is there is pardon, are there uh, pardon, is there a backyard in your house? Uh, Celia? Yes, there is. Okay, thank you so much. Now, oh. class, this is part of the feedback for the class we had yesterday and for unit number two. But mm -hmm. here we have something, okay? Introduction to the topic. Yesterday we went through this because, um, you know, it takes more time. So how to describe a problem? The problem description over here, because you have to build a, okay, here. How to describe a problem? The problem description should have a concise description of the facts that need to be addressed, addressed, um, que necesitan ser enfocados, dirigidos. In addition, it must respond to the five whys, who, where, what, when, and why. Thank you for sharing, Atilio. Okay, so here we go. I was to share it, but he did, uh, he did it for me. Thank you so much. So keep in mind this, who is reporting? Where is the problem taking place? What is the problem? When uh, it took place or when did it begin? And why, the reason why, okay? And after that, we have this other situation, okay? What is the problem? Who is experiencing the problem? Where is the problem taking place? When did the problem start? Why is this problem occurring? We need to consider this information and to ask, okay? When you receive uh, a call, then probably, you have to ask this question in order to get the context of the situation. Or if you report a problem, an issue with any piece of equipment from your office or a machinery from your company, these are the kind of questions that the person who is expected to repair or fix the problem to provide you a solution with, they are going to ask you this, what is the problem? Who is experiencing the problem? Where is the problem taking place? When did the problem start? And why is this problem occurring? Okay. So there is this kind of interesting to know. Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? No? Okay. And if you will remember, yesterday you began, okay? You began to build a conversation. And right now we're going to move in order to work with the manual at page 29 and 30. And here we go. Okay. okay. Now you have a better knowledge on how to build the conversation. Because here, this is what, okay, we were practicing yesterday. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a, a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look, a, a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify, here is not to vary. Remember that you need to make the correction over here to verify, okay? Verify. To verify if 
it is a minor fault. A minor fault means that it is not a big deal. The problem is not that big. A minor fault or what? I understand. Is that if that is the case, we need to speed up things. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot, okay? So do you remember the meaning for uh, the word fortnight? Cada 15 okay. días. Okay. And you may say the first fortnight, the second fortnight, la primera quincena, la segunda, la segunda quincena, o los primeros 15 días, o los segundos 15 días del mes, okay? Or we understand the first two weeks or the second two weeks of the month, okay? A fortnight. Very well. And now I ask you, class. Uh, I need someone to read what Ramon says and another participant to read what Dorian says. Two participants. I'm waiting for the participants. Thank you, Celia. Another no participant. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard. Okay, you're going to read Ramon and Doria is going to be read by Celia. Okay, let's begin. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a vacuum on one of your machines. I have a look at it. You are right. You know, it doesn't know work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need something. Some time, perdón. Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal calcium of to verify key, to verify it's if it's a mirror faculty or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed these things up. I recommend check the brushes once or a fortnight to make sure they are not done. Uh, what happened is they are. We will have to spend that short. Thank you. <clears throat> so here, uh, one suggestion. When we say, I'll have, I'll have a look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, we say uh, it together, okay? I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at I it. I'll have a look at it. Excellent. Look at Great. It. Like Teacher. a native speaker. I'll look at it. Excellent. Yes, sir. Tell me. Can you pronounce I will in contractor form? I'll. 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 I'll, I'll have a, I'll, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. You, you are not, yeah, you're not going to listen. I'll, no, I'll, I'll have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Notice that this word is not some time, no, some time, okay? Yes, complex machines have a lot of, a lot of. Here the T sounds like an R. A lot of, lot of the same as look at it, look at it. A lot of components. I need to take the metal casing, metal casing of to verify, verify if it is a minor, minor, minor means a little, a minor fault or what? Uh, if that is the case, we need to speed up, to speed things up. I recommend, I recommend check the brushes. I recommend, and then he, uh, he gives the list of recommendations. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what if they are? We will have to extend the shot, shot, cierre o la desconexión. Okay, depending on the machine or the case. So um, right now, some of you were absent yesterday. So let me tell you that this was the basis for a conversation that your partners 
some of the partners began to, to build yesterday, right? Because in here, okay, what are some other problems? We went through this and also over this, but here, getting pairs, but they were uh, working in a small group, okay? And think of a problem that may occur with the machinery at your workplace. Use the conversation, the one that we have read in exercise one as a model, as a basis. Use expressions from part four. And they are going to finish constructing the conversation today. And later they are going to go over step number seven. They present the conversation in front of the classmates and teachers here in the main session room, yeah? And we were working also with this expressions, right? And they are involved over here. Now, class, do you have any question about the next activity? No questions. All the, num all the numbers, teacher. One, two, three, four. How come? Um, Say it again. Um, if you need that we, um result the number three four five six and seven no you right now i need you to build the conversation that you didn't finish okay. yesterday if you remember mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only that okay. part yeah uh-huh only focus on that by the moment because okay. later when you finish the completion or finish creating the sent the conversation you have to practice a lot and then you are going to present it in the main session room for mm -hmm. the complete class. Yes, this okay. was what we agreed yesterday. Okay, And remember okay. that you need to, to, to change, to think about another machinery Yeah, that maybe you have at work because it is not only computers or printers or phones. There are different, okay, kind of uh, machinery according to your positions or your the companies that you work for, okay? So use your creativity also, but remember to use these phrases because that is, a, that is the idea that you use the vocabulary uh, that we have been sharing over here, okay? For example, I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. I need to blah, blah, to report a minor fault or a big fault, I have to extend the shot and check, but depending on the on the machinery, I need to speed things up or depending on the conversation you are going to create. Dependiendo de la conversación que van a crear, de acuerdo? Okay, here we go. Right now, I'm going to transfer you to the different groups. Here. Okay, class. According to the platform, there is a team of four students, and there are four teams of three students because I cannot assign you in pairs. Because if you lose the connectivity, there's going to be a problem. Okay, so here we go. Join your groups. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Focus on the construction and the practice of the conversation, okay? Join your groups, please. Thank you. Brandon, welcome, you're here. Okay, Brandon, I'm going to... Present, teacher, present. Okay, okay, I'm going to ask you to join group number four. I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Join your group, please. I sent you the invitation, Brandon. 
Miss Claudia Maria, we need you in group number four. Mariana Scarlett, we need you in group number four. Marina Yancy. Marina Yancy, I sent you the invitation. You have to be in group number one. Mariana Scarlett in group number four. It works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shame. Ah, Let me see. Ah, pues, practiquemos la conversación y esa misma presentemos. But you have you have to change the names. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> because Ramon no. Mm -hmm. Dorian no. Remember you have to use your names and let's see. What have to say? No he tomado nada, Luis. Ah, tengo un montón de inyecciones, ya no me quiero inyectar porque ya me veo. No, tome cosas naturales. Pero se hizo la prueba, Luis Miguel. Fíjese de que les estaba explicando que a mí me hicieron la prueba hoy y a los compañeros que dije que yo enfermé salieron positivos. Pero... Y usted salió negativo. <ríe> yo salí negativo. Pero es que yo creo que fue porque ellos sí andan una gripe bien fuerte y mi nariz está seca ahorita. Probablemente si se la hace pasado mañana va a salir positivo. Ah, vale. Como Ajá. son dos variantes, dos variantes nuevas las que hay, ¿verdad? Ah, está explicando a ellos que yo ayer vine, me senté. Y cuando vine a abrir los ojos eran las 5 de la mañana. Mm -hmm. Que me sentía bien débil, no sé por qué. Sí, pero, sí, probablemente sea eso, pero también andan dando unas gripes bien fuertes, ¿verdad? Pero gripes que, que, que pasan porque no, 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 no lo inmovilizan. ¿sí? sí, solo que a mí no me dio gripe, a mí me dio tos. Y ahora amanecí con, la, con, con dolor de garganta. Ay, no. Entonces, si Yo... se hace la prueba, tal vez dentro de dos o tres días va a salir positivo. Be careful ah, with your family. Tenga cuidado con dice... uh -huh. Yo pregu le, le pregunté a, a un compañero, ¿verdad? Que si él preguntó si el dolor en el pecho era, este, lo habían tenido ellos también y dicen que sí, pero que el doctor les dijo de que era por la tos. Por la fuerza donde tos. Pero es que depende cuál, cuál variante tenga y depende de su organismo también. Va a ser que uh -huh. a, mí el año paso, a mí en el 2020, en plena pandemia, me dio bien fuerte este COVID. Oh. Y entonces yo llegué con oxigenación de 68. Mm. Entonces el COVID que yo viví, o sea, ahorita esto es una broma para mí, para lo que me había pasado. Because you got the real one. No, yeah. but even so... Remember that even the ones who are vaccinated, like me, I, I have the, the three doses, four doses of, of, of the vaccination, but you need a reinforcement, okay? I, I, I have three, only three. Mm. Because the Pfizer, uh, my my heart beat out so, so fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same happened to me, but I got the four. Ah, ya, por eso, ok, por eso no, uh -huh. uh -huh. so por sorry. Eso no me, por eso no me puse la cuarta porque me dio taquicardia de uh -huh. tal grado de que me despertaba en la madrugada ahogándome. Mm, ya, yeah, eres kind of a strong. So be careful, ok, with your family, take care of your family and yourself, ok. So while we were uh, talking, Miss uh, Celia was making the necessary changes to the conversation, ok. Yes, yes, yes. Claro okay. no I know she was really concerned, very <laughs> serious. No, but that's the attitude. She, yeah? she don't have a permission for for, for smiling. 
If she doesn't smile. have permission to smile. <laughs> oh, <I'm loud. laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is that the situation is serious <laughs> in our country regarding the viruses, okay? Uh, okay, uh, I hope you get well very soon, okay, Luis Miguel? He's my lawyer. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, see Actually, you. Yeah. Practice yeah. the conversation, okay? Practice, practice the conversation. Uh, <laughs> Miss Celia, make Norma and Luis Miguel practice, okay? Because they were not in class yesterday, okay? Bye. Para, para revisarla. Uh, to check. To check it. Check. Hola. <coughs> ¿Qué más? Quiero ver qué dice. Ay. Entonces lo practicamos. No, vaya. Practice. Yo comienzo entonces. <laughs> eh, thank you for coming, Brandon. No problem. So, so may I report a foul. Well, on yes. one of your printers, I... ¿Cómo se lee esto? I have, no. I have a look at it. I have a look at it. 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 Uh, you are right, you know, it does not work properly and it makes strange lines. This is fra fragile. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay, but here, you are right, you know, it does not work properly and it makes, is it only one line or more than one strange line? ¿Es una sola línea la que hace eh, rara o más de una? Porque acá oh. tenemos mezclado singular y plural. It mm -hmm. makes a strange lines. A means only one. Lines is plural. Eh, si fuera plural, it makes strange lines without A. ¿Ok? Hello, Miss Carla. Yo creo Miss, que tiene problemas con la yeah, conexión. Yeah, she got problems with it. And she was sharing. Yes. Okay, but I think she's back. Ajá, uh -huh, Miss Carla. Perdón. Uh, <laughs> me see, I said frozen. No, you were frozen. And I was talking to you. Okay, will you mind sharing again? So I can tell you. Okay. Okay. No le ha visto la colita. Okay, over here um, in Carla. You are right. This is what I was telling you, Miss Carla. You're right. You mm -hmm. know, it does not work properly and it makes us strange lines. ¿Cuántas líneas son las que se ven extrañas? ¿Una o varias? Eh, serían varias. Entonces eliminamos no, varía la letra la... A. Correct. Sí. It doesn't work properly and it makes strange lines. This is a fragile machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, fragile machines have many sensors. I need to make, hold it. I need to make a deep cleaning to verify, very, no, verify, verify. Cleaning oh, to verify if, uh -huh. verify. Ah, to verify <laughs> if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend cleaning the, cleaning the, no. I recommend cleaning the, no. I recommend a deep cleaning. A deep cleaning. Ajá, uh -huh, uh -huh, una limpieza profunda. I recommend a deep ah. cleaning. Así. Once a week, okay? Eliminate the. Uh, a deep cleaning. That. 
Sí. Once a week to make sure it is not down, porque están hablando de una máquina, ¿verdad? It is not uh -huh. down. It is not down. To make okay. sure it is not down. En lugar de they. Ajá, porque están hablando de una. Ahí como estaban hablando de las brushes. Do you remember? De las uh -huh. de las brushes. De las... It is not down. And what happens if it is? And what happens if it is? Okay. If it is. Ah, qué pelar. <laughs> we will have to extend the cleaning. Mm -hmm. The cleaning time, maybe el tiempo de limpieza. The cleaning time. Okay, okay that's it. Practice. Practice as native speakers, okay? okay? As natural as possible. Okay, bye. Okay. Este comienzo. Eh, thank you for coming, Brandon. No problem. So may report a fault on one of your printers. I have a lockout. Uh, you are right, you know. It it does not work properly and it makes strange lines. This is a fragile machine, so maybe you will need something. Fragile. Yes. Fragile. Fragile. Yeah. Fragile. Fragile. Oh. Finish the conversation. No. Not yet. But okay. your partners are helping you to work. Pero le están ayudando a trabajar sus compañeros. No, no, ahorita solo. Only you. Okay, I'm going to add you to another que... group. No, recuérdese que a mí me saca. Por eso lo voy a agregar a otro equipo. Porque si Miss Nelly no está disponible y Pablo tampoco. Pero a mí me saca y me está, lo estoy trabajando solo. Pero si no. Está bien. Sí, porque así se une a otro equipo. Permítame, vamos a ver. Uh, I'm going to assign you to group number one, porque ahí hay tres participantes y con usted ya harían cuatro, entonces se hace cabal, ¿verdad? El equipo. Tú en tú. Que Pablo está teniendo problemita, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Move to team one. Okay, I sent you the invitation. No? Norma. Comienza usted. Okay, yeah, hold it. Hello. Hello, may I may I interrupt you? May I interrupt you? Puedo interrumpirles. Yes. yes. Okay, Celia, Norma, yeah. and Luis Miguel, let me tell you one thing. This is very serious about your working class. Uh, you have to share your information with Atilio Ernesto because he was having problems with his connectivity and in his group, he was lonely the lonely because the other partners were having problems too. And he was building his uh, conversation alone Él estaba construyendo su conversación solito. So please, oh, now that you... No, poor little thing, poor little thing. Entonces, <laughs> si hay cuatro acá, pueden practicar dos y dos, ¿de acuerdo? And then you Ajá, sí. Okay. Esa conversación que la hagan ellos dos y, y yo hago con Atilio, no problem. Ok, great. Bye. Ok, bye. <laughs> Solo agreguemos una parte para Atilio. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming, Nelson. Okay, no problem. I'm here for no. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you, not for help. Or if you use help for helping you, because after a preposition, we always use the verb in ing. Okay. Here I'm to help here you. Someone you. reported a fault in the Xerox copier. I will have to check to check what is uh, wrong with the machine. You're right. 
you know, it does not work properly because every time I try to make a copy, the paper is jammed. This is a new machine and this should not be happening. Yes, your machine should not be jamming the paper. Let me see, maybe this is a minor fault. I'm going to take out the paper tray to check it. I see what the problem is. The paper separator isn't adjusted to the correct size of paper. And then, so it is loose. And the machine takes, takes more paper than needed. Okay, takes more paper than needed. Is the problem solved? And what can I do in order to avoid, to avoid it again, to avoid it happening again, to avoid it? Me estaba sugiriendo quitar in order, pero no sabía si... No, ustedes... that's okay, no, no, that's okay. In order to avoid it, it. Avoid happening it. again, happening again. Avoid it happening again. Mm -hmm. Very well. Okay. okay. Eh, no, Nelson. ¿Qué más le ponemos? Eh, Su recomendación. Este, con lo que leí de que le vamos a cambiar, le vamos a configurar el tamaño de, de papel. And I recommend. No, la recomendación no, porque es lo que yo voy a hacer. To fooling is necessary to meet our client, our client, our customers. <coughs> Apa say? Hey. Mm -hmm. La repasamos. Sí. Uh, thank you for coming, Mirna. No problem. Someone report a foul on one, on one of your machines. I have to look at it. You are right. Quieren, por favor. Is doesn't work properly and it make a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Ahí está. Los controles, no, ahí está. Sí, ahí está. Ahí está. <risa> el Zoom tiene el problema. Sí, yo me asusté. Sí, porque se quitaron todos los comandos. Ve, y yo estoy sin, sin video también. <risa> I'm here. Um, no, que se no habían perdido los controles. <risa> ¿Cuál es control? Los de Zoom. Los de Zoom. No, <risa> pero en este momento son mis controles, porque como yo ingresé y soy la anfitrión, ah. por eso les, eh, ajá, regresar. Entonces, ah, en ese momento sí. quizás alguien tenía eh, problemas de sí. conexión. A saber sí, que lo toqué yo. <risa> pero a mí se me bugueó. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Right, chica. Si querés cambiamos de rol. Vaya, yo soy. Las demás compañeras como que están trabajando. Sí, están bien. Aquí estoy, yo aquí estoy, yo aquí estoy. Ah, vaya. <risa> ok, Claudia y eh, Claudia María y Salai. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Mi Brandon. Eh, eh. 
en Marina Yancy, I think that Aquí she estoy. is okay. So you see, it is the time to be alive, participating. Ah, pues que lean ella. Ajá, uh -huh, both oh, of sí. them. So here Teacher. you have, yes? Teacher, one question. ¿Verdad que mi nombre se pronuncia Brandon, no Brandon? Oh, Brandon. Es que la escuché en una película que dicen Brandon, no Brandon. No, depende, <risa> depende aquí en español es Brandon. Ajá, Ajá, en español, pero me gusta más. ¿Cómo suena el otro? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. Ajá. Ok, Brandon. Sí, digan. Ok. Oye, así que Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Present teacher. No ok, present. So Brandon, present. present. Ok, great. So now you have, you know, Carla, you don't have to say Brandon, you have to say you Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> es que lo, Brandon. los chelitos así lo dicen. Oh. Ok, now let's listen to the practice for Claudia María oh. and Marina Yancy, ok? Bye. Ok. okay. Eh, I'm Carla, and then we switch. Miss Nelly, you're not available yet. And Pablo either. No, no están disponibles aún. Okay. En español. Es un atillo fresón. Okay. En español. Okay. Oh, no, en inglés. Ok, teacher, we finish. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are ready. Yeah, we are ready. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. it is oh. for punchline. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ok, new ready? phrases. Yes, we agree. Ok. Okay. No problem. Okay, give me okay, give me one minute. So I'm going to make sure that all the groups are done and then we can go over the oral practice in the main session room. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. Are you ready? Um Casi, 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 casi. Ok, ok, great. Perfecto, dígame y escriba las recomendaciones, o solo así, o que las escriba. Ahí, ahí sí, 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 sí. se ve. <coughs> uh -huh. Así que en una, Y hoy volvemos mientras nos llaman. Thank you for coming, Yermo. No problem, so one <coughs> report of foul on one for your, ma your machines. I have a look at it. You are right, you know. It does not work properly, and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, close, close sewing machines is a complex machine. Have a lot of components. I need to now is a mechanic or electric to to verify. Uh -huh. Ya la habían practicado ustedes. Sí, Brandon. Y... Sí. Y usted. Sí, solo que íbamos a cambiar, intercambiar. 
switch oh, roles. Yes. You will switch, switch roles. roles. Switch roles. For example, Brandon yeah. and Carla are going to be the first team. And Claudia and Marina are going to be the second team. Yes, is that okay? Yeah? Okay, very okay. good. Brandon, ya me terminó el trabajo en la plataforma. Yes. Y el examen también. Sí, los cuatro. El midterm, ya lo eh... hizo. El examen de medio curso. El midterm test. En donde son cuatro. No. Sí, son cuatro partes. ¿Sí? Cuatro partes, ¿sí? Sí, sí también. también. Ahora lo realizo. Sí, porque hoy en la mañana vi que no y I was about to text you, ¿ok? Sí, hoy lo okay, realicé. No, ok, I'm going to update the, the grades after class at about en serio, ¿ok? Because I need to have the session, the one-on-one -on -one session, ¿ok? Are you ready, oh. people? Yes. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's get back. And let's begin sharing with the partners. Okay, class, here we go. And uh, let's see, you can share your screen. And in team number one, we have Atilio, Celia, Luis Miguel, and Norma. We are all ears for you, class. Sí, está para... para arriba, Cel. Ay, bueno, espérenme, espérenme, que me está costando. <risa> es que acabamos de instalar Word ahí. Ajá, estamos aprendiendo a usar el Word. <risa> Nueva herramienta. Yes. Ok, let's do it. Norma. Okay. Thank you for your coming, Miss. No problem. Someone report a file on one of your machine. I'll have yeah, to look exactly. at it. You are right to know if that's not work properly and I make a string. Noise and has a lie on that Niptoner. This is a complex machine so. Maybe you will need some time. Yes, complete machine, high alert component. I need to take the metal, casing of the verify if uh, it is a more minor foul or was a China detoner. What, what a minute. I understand, but I need to reset the new toner. If that is the case, we need to speed it out. I recommend check the yeah. Noleo, 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 un poquito más para arriba. Sí, bueno, sorry, pero... sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> es que se abrieron muchas ventanas. <laughs> ya cuando se lo voy a compartir la captura de 
Todavía, ¿Sí? está, todavía no se ve. Vale. No se ve, ahí está. Ahí, ahí, ahí va. I recommend to share the brushes one for night to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the two. I am sorry, you do not need at any of that. It's just valid connect to USB. Ay, caramba. <laughs> oh okay, God. everyone, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Era, oh my gosh, no hay caramba. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ay, caramba. <laughs> Spanglish at the end. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, very well done. Congrats. Let's clap, clap, clap for the group. And now it is time to listen to team number two. In team, team number two, we have Darío, Nelson, and Tony. Are you ready? Or later on? I'm ready. We are ready. Okay. Go ahead. You are the stars. I'm the secretary, and then I only write the, the, the conversation. The stars are Darío yes. and Nelson. It's complete. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Nelson. Okay, no problem. I am here to help you. So one reported a foul in the Xerox copier. I will have to check what is wrong with the with the machine. You're right. You know it does not work properly because every time I try to make a copy, the paper is jammed. Jammed. This is a new machine, and this shall not be happening. Yes, your machine should not be happening. Be, be jamming the paper. Let me see. Maybe this a minor fault. I am going to take out the paper tray to check to, to check it. I see what the problem is. The paper separator isn't adjusted to the correct size of paper, and then so it's loose and the machine takes more paper than needed. It, is the problem solved? And what can I do in order to avoid it happening again? I am going to change the configuration and the paper size in the tray in the control panel too. Great, go ahead. Do you have another question? Do you have another question? I have a few recommendations for the correct use of the copier. Perfect. Tell me and please write the, the recommendation for future troubles. I recommend to use the size of paper in the tray and in the configuration every time. Thank you a lot, paper for copies. Please. She <clears throat> check and clean the paper try once a fortnight and the fees are forty hundred dollars. Carísimo, por cierto. Sí. <laughs> okay. That's all. Wow. Here we needed to say. Oh my God, with that, with that $400, I, I better buy a new one or two new ones. Okay, excellent, very well. Excellent, thank you. Claps, claps, claps for that team. And now listen, in group number three, I have Concepcion, Marina and Mirna Lisette, only the two of you girls. No, with Wendy. And Wendy, Wendy, are you here? I guess I did share. Okay. Now you are the super girls. Thank you for coming, Mirna. No problem. 
someone report a foul on one of your machines, you'll have a look at it. You are right to you know. It does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need it some time. Yes, close. Sewing machines is a complex machines have a lot of com components. I need to now is a me mechanical or electrical to verify is a minor fault or what? I answer that I think it's electrical. If that is the case, we need to speed seen up. I recommend check the engine and the brushes one a fortnight to make sure they <clears throat> they are not down. Um I how long will it be right? We will have to extend working hours to get to get it out in the short, short time possible. Extending hours will increase our cost. It's necessary to meet our customers. Finish it's all teacher. Finish teacher. Your microphone to share. Okay, at the moment that I was going to give you the emoji, the image changed, the screen changed. Congratulations uh, to the superpower girls. Now in room number four, we have a Brandon, Claudia, Carla, Marianne Scarlett, and Marina Chancy. Eh, vamos a leerlo dos veces, ¿verdad? Este, bye. Okay. Thank you for coming, Brandon. No problem. Some report a fall on one of your printers. I have a lookout. You are right. You no, know, it does not work properly and it makes strange lines. This is fragile machine, so maybe you will need some time. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Perdón. Un momento. Continuous. Um, yes, fragile machine. How many sensor I need to make uh, to make a deep cleaning to verify if it is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed the things up. I recommend a deep cleaning once agreed to make sure it is knocked down. And what happened if it is? We will have to extend the cleaning time. Okay, you back, Claudia. Yes. Thank you Thank for coming. No problem. Someone report a fault of one of your painters. I will have to look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work perfectly and it may strain night. It is fragile machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, fragile machines have many sensors. I need to make it a deep cleaning to verify if it is a minor default or what. I understand. <clears throat> if that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend a deep cleaning once a week to make sure 
It is not down. And what happened is it is. We will have to extend extend the cleaning time. Great, very well, congrats. Excellent class. Claps, claps, claps for all the groups. Okay, you did an excellent work, congratulations. And now you see things yesterday, you had a big preview about the conversation. Now it was not so difficult to take for you and to present it also. Congratulations. And now I'm going to continue sharing the uh, manual because the next activity goes like this. Expressions for describing issues, issues. I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. I need to, I need to speed things up, check the brushes once a fortnight. I have to extend the shot a minor fault. Yesterday also for the ones who were absent, we were working in exercise number five. You were matching, if you remember, the phrases to the, in numbers to the ones in letters. And we said a small and important problem was A, B, C, D, or E. Do you remember, class? E. E, because it is the definition for a minor fault. Check it. Is it A, B, C, or D? C. 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 Letter C. Okay, excellent. A period of two weeks. B. Letter D. Letter D. That was the new expression that you learned yesterday, right? Do something faster. B. Letter B. B. Letter B. Very well. Make the shutdown longer. A. 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 A to extend a shot. And here, okay, we have these phrases and they are in bold here. Yeah. So what you're going to do right now, class, is you're going to write two sentences using each phrase. I'll have a look at, I'll have a look at instead of it. What would you write? I'll have a look at mm, probably the, the cell phone, okay? I'll have a look at, instead of it, the copier, you, the copier machine, yes. So you have to replace in this case, the subject pronoun it and you write a noun. And here it makes a strange, instead of noise, what would you write? Okay, you use your imagination, yes, regarding to the problems or issues with machinery. Is that okay? Yes. And then you have to use a speed things up, but how come? We need to speed things up. How would you use it in a sentence? We need to speed instead of things up. What would you say? We need to speed the time up. We need to speed the work up, yeah? And once a fortnight, you have to use the expression once a fortnight once in a monthly. different context. Okay, yeah? And extend the shot. Two sentences for each of these uh, expressions, but as a group, not individually to contextualize these expressions, in other words, okay? And you may consider the information that you have in here, okay? These ones and these ones. Is that okay? Vamos a contextualizar estas frases creando dos oraciones por cada una de ellas. Pueden tomar esta en consideración, este cuadrito o la conversación, ¿ya? Pero como equipo. I think that five minutes are enough. Is that okay? Cinco minutos. <laughs> okay, that's why I love my students. <laughs> no, it is a joke. Okay, so here we go. But before you go to the breakout rooms, because uh, I think it's going to take a little longer, 
I'm going to take the second, the second mm -hmm. attendance and maybe more partners are available right now, okay? Atilio, are you here? Yes, you're it's here. Anything. Okay, great. Uh, Brandon, Brandon, <coughs> Brandon. Present, present teacher. Okay. Uh, Claudia, Claudia present. Maria, thank you, Miss Concepcion. Present. Great. Darío. Present teacher. Antonio, great. Uh, Stephanie Carranza, absent. Josué, absent today. Let's see. Juan, always here. Tony, present, Juan Antonio, teacher. yes. Luis Miguel, are you here? Yes. No, no, Even though you're sick, but you're here. No, 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 Marianne, no. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne is absent at the moment. No, Marianne. She is connected, but she is not available. Marina Jansi. Present. Okay, thank you, Miss Marina Jansi. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Nelly, where are you, Nelly Lilipet? Ah, uh, here. <laughs> because uh, now you have the camera on. Hello, Miss Miss Nelly Lilibet. Hi. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Norma Patricia. Norma. Present teacher. Great. Pablo Pablo. Okay. Thank you, Pablo. Sandra. Sandra Leticia is absent today. Okay. Miss Wendy, are you here, Miss Wendy? Yes. Present teacher. Okay. Miss Carla, you're here. Present. Carla Sofia. And Miss Celia Cristina, here. Okay. Yes, now, present. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So now, class, we're going to go to the breakout rooms. And remember that you need to build two sentences contextualizing the uh, expressions, okay? So we can learn them. But I'm going to recreate the groups because let's see how many students over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. I'm sending you the invitation right now. Use your creativity. Okay, I sent you the invitation. Wendy, okay. Marianne Scarlett. Perfecto. Bueno, tenemos que ser creativos con esto, así que hay que buscarle la. Primero, las, las este, oraciones con las, con las frases en negrilla. ¿Qué página es, Don Tony? Es la página donde están las frases con negrilla, la 29. Ya. Y quiero ver si les puedo compartir. Ahí voy. Yo 
Okay, Brandon, Concepcion, and Pablo, are you ready? Hello, class. Hello, hello. Concepcion. Hi, teacher. Hi. And Brandon? Hi, teacher. Okay, are you available, class, in order to start? With the creation of the sentences? Because Pablo, I think he is not available at the moment. So only the two of you. Or do you want me to join you to other groups? For me, yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, because it is a lot of work. So here, mm -hmm. okay, um, let me see. Concepcion, you join group number one because Mariana Scarlett has problems. So I'm going to send you the invitation, Concepcion, right now, okay? Uh, to group number one. And here we go with Mr. Sabala. Okay, you go to group number four, okay, Brand? Yeah, teacher. I'm sending you the invitation right now. Okay. Great. Okay. Computing. I'm so sorry for the interruption, but class, let me tell you that Miss Concepcion is going to be part of this group, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Así eran los ejemplos, ¿verdad, teacher? Así estamos bien. Let me see. I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at the cell phone. I'll have a look at the copier machine. Yes, great. That's it. Just to okay. contextualize the phrases. Uh -huh. Para que no uh -huh. se amarren a que solo ahí se pueden utilizar, ¿no? Son frases de uso diario, ¿ok? Ok. It makes... Quiero ver para que no vayan dando ideas. Makes... Uh -huh. El punto. Queriendo. Mm, ah, sí, sería un complemento. It doesn't freeze. Ajá. Because it doesn't turn on. Because it doesn't turn on. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't turn on. But porque están hablando de la computadora, verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The third person singular. Mm -hmm. It doesn't turn on. I need to faster machine. For production. Necesito una máquina más rápida para la producción. Mm. No. I'll have a look at the washing machine. I'll have a look at the washing machine. Sorry for the interruption, but I, I don't know if you have noticed that Brandon Zavala is here. Consider him. Yes. For his okay. okay, great. Excellent. Uh, it doesn't work properly. Okay, here, and it doesn't work properly, you need to eliminate it, and you have to replace it for a machine. Uh, for example, if you say, um, say, okay, let's imagine that it can be any machine at work, yeah? So it could be probably the, the air conditioning doesn't work properly. Yes? Yeah. It makes a strange noise. And in, in the third one, in the third bullet, instead of it, you name the machine. The blah blah makes a strange noise or makes a strange um, sign, I don't know, or blink. Blinks a strange. You use blink. your creativity. Mm -hmm. Blinks. Blinks. Okay, see you. Okay. See. <laughs> 
Ajá, se ve más clara. Entonces sería de vuelta o otra cosa. Está bien el webcam. The webcam. Oui. Mm. O no. O ¿Cómo de... no? ¿Cómo no? Continuo, 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 continuo. Está bien, está bien. <risa> no, I'm okay. going to tell you later. Continuo, continuo. Don't okay. lose the idea. Don't lose the idea. Yeah. It doesn't work properly. Okay. It doesn't work properly. 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 La otra sería It makes a strange noise Ahí sí sería el carro ¿verdad? Yeah. Ajá Hold it, it. May... Hold it, I have a suggestion My internet connection Doesn't work properly You don't have to write it Because you have the subject Es una sola oración ah, My sí, internet sí, ¿Ah? sí. My internet connection Y aquí doesn't... igual The webcam doesn't work properly. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. It makes a strange. I am. No, it, it is. Um, si es una falla menor también lo podemos exponenciar, es decir, eh, this is a big problem, eh, it is a, a heavy, um, a heavy trouble, it's más grande, it is a Uh, un problema chiquito uh, ¿cuál era la otra? el otro sinónimo que utilizábamos para problema uh, this, um, a small issue a small issue perfecto este de speed things up aquí nos está sugiriendo la teacher de que también lo podíamos cambiar por eh, como acelerar las cosas podría ser otra como yes no I need yes I need to verify the speed connection connection because the speed of the connection speed of the speed of the connection. Oh, connection speed. Connection. Yes, it can be the connection of speed. Al revés. Mm -hmm. I see, I see, look, aha, uh -huh, cabal. Uh, because Zoom application <laughs> is Zoom not. Up. Is not running. It's not running. Doesn't let me in. And the Zoom app doesn't let me in. The Zoom app doesn't let me in, mejor. No. <laughs> it's up to you, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was just a suggestion. Así. You know. Let me in. Uh-huh. No me deja ingresar. Sí, me ya. Ajá. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to. Hola, Wilson. Ah, eso también. Ahorita la pongo. Ah. Check it tomorrow's report. What do you mean by that? 
como que hay que chequear el reporte de mañana. Ok, you say, I have to check tomorrow's report, but don't write it. Because the subject is tomorrow, the object. I have to check tomorrow's report. Or I will. I will to check. In, but in this, no, in this, in, no. Listen, in, when you say I have to, it's an obligation. Either you like it or not, you have to do it. Es una de sus obligaciones. Le guste o no, lo tiene que hacer. Pero si usamos will, puede que sí, puede que no. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, I have to check it. No, without it, no it. I have to check tomorrow's report. Tomorrow's report, that's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to faster the machine for the production or the machines for the production. I need to faster the machine for the production. The machine faster the machine for the production for the production. Yo creo que está así. ¿no? What about this one? Um, a minor fault in sales this year. What is, because that is a phrase, it is not a sentence. <coughs> es un fragmento, no es oración. A minor fault in sales this year. Maybe because you need a subject and a verb. Necesitan un sujeto y un verbo ahí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe. Uh. Probably. We are having a minor fault in sales this year. We are having a minor fault in sales this year. We, we are having a minor fault in sales this year. Mm -hmm. What is the difference must and have to? Must es una obligación y have to es también una obligación, pero de fuera, que usted lo tiene que hacer quiera o no. Okay? Uh -huh. You have to be early at work. Le guste o no, es una obligación. You have to be. Tiene que estar temprano en el trabajo. Otherwise, you receive a discount. Yes? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. another one, probably, uh, you must. Es más como obligación moral. Must. Okay? Okay. Pero have to es esa. ¿Verdad? Que es una obligación de fuera hacia usted. Que lo tiene que hacer o no. Either you like it or not, you have to. There's no choice. No hay elección. Okay. Okay. Everything is recorded, uh, recording in progress. <laughs>
Ok. Hemos hecho diferentes opciones. Ok, ya. Yeah. We bien. need to repair. Ok. We need to repair the problem fast. We need to repair the problem fast. We need to accelerate the process. You need to approve the authorization, authorization. once a week, once a month, once a year. Um, here you may write the second fortnight, the second fortnight, la segunda quincena, the second fortnight. Ah, también la podemos poner. Yeah, the second fortnight. Stop. We will have to make a break. We will have to extend the operations. We'll have to modify the configuration very well. Different choices, different possibilities. Y esto estaba bien. It Which makes one? a wired smell. It makes a strange beep. It makes a strong vibration. Vibration. What do you What do you mean by it makes a weird smell? Como que huele raro, huele feo, huele como a cacho quemado, le decía yo como huele cuando arruinan las cosas. Ajá. When it is burning, when it is burning. Uh, it makes us... Y el strange beep es como cuando le pip, 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 que comienza una, alguna it alarma. Makes o, us o a strange a alarm. strong vibration. Yes, a strong uh, vibration, yeah. I'll have a look, a look at the monitor machine. I'll have a look at, in all the, at, I'll have a look at, because that is the price of verb, to have a look at. I'll have a look at. At, at all, uh, okay. At, at, at. At, the, at the monitor machine, oh, okay, okay. Look at, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ese look at es como cuando nosotros también utilizamos el, el to listen, listen, ajá. listen to, listen to, ajá. ajá, que es parte esa frase. Eh, look at esa preposición at es parte del de sí. verbo look porque es phrasal verb, es una frase verbal. Si usted no le escribe at, queda el verbo simple, entonces ya tiene otro significado. Ok, ok. Ok, so I think it is time to return because it's time to say good night. Ok. And we're going to take a, a capture of this and save it for tomorrow because I think there is not enough time in order to read it and share with the class. Ok. Ok. Yo se los compartí via chat también. Ah, ok. Gracias, Great. Anthony. Ya lo anoté, yo los iba anotando también. ¿Por qué tan seria, niña Celia? Eso no es normal. Ahí sí, es claro, sí. She is looking at the issue in her computer. Ok. And Miss Nelly Lilibet, I need you to do me a favor, please. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. And you have to stay with me 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. Listen, class. I have been monitoring your work, your sentences. All of them are, you know, you put your uh, creativity okay, on them. And congratulations, but because of the time, we're going to continue. You're going to read them tomorrow as part of the feedback, okay? And I want to ask you to continue working in the platform. And if there is someone still owing me something, please go right now and work on the homeworks for section two and the midterm test, because I'm going to update the grades as soon as I finish my meeting with, where is she? With Miss Nelly Lilipet, okay? So, Hooray for the class because you practice a lot and you contextualize the 
idioms and phrasal verbs that we were practicing since yesterday, okay? Have a good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Relax, happy sleep, and sweet dreams, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, Brandon. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Atilio. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, miss. Here we go. Okay, miss. Me completo las tareas, miss, en la plataforma. Sí. Sí, solamente tenía una, una duda con, con una a la que había que ponerle office, este, pero ya la corregí. Ah, ya la corrigió, ok, sí. sí. Y el midterm test también lo completó. Sí, ya, ya. Ah, ok, sí, porque voy a actualizar, ¿verdad? Y pensé, ay, no, quizás hay algún problemita ahí. Y sí, en cuanto a... De, ajá, de hecho, las actividades ya la habían corregido para que la pudiéramos solucionar, pero en el examen este, es que salía así como que estaba bien en la actividad, pero en el examen salía mal. Pero ya... ya sí, se... ya lo resolvió. Ya lo logró, sí. le ayudaron ahí. Ok, muy bien. Sí. Y en cuanto a los temas, ¿hay alguno que sienta que tiene alguna duda todavía? Este, uh, pues ahorita estaba viendo lo de en una clase que no estuve, donde estuvieron viendo lo de la parte del name, coach, size, ingredients. Wait. Ah, ok, let's see, sí, 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 ok, that is about procedures, fue al principio casi, ¿verdad?, de la, mm -hmm. de la, de la unidad, ok, let's look for that here, sí, fue al inicio, acá, acá, sí, Sí, voy Desde a... esta parte. Ok, here we go. We are at page 14. But that is unit one. Pero ese es de la unidad uno. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Esta parte es? Es... Um, pero... oh, es esta otra. 18. 18, 18. Ah, casi al final. Ah, fue casi en el, en el feedback, en el repaso. Uh -huh. Esta. Sí. sí, ok. Vaya, acá usted tiene que leer la descripción de cada uno de los productos hechos a base de chocolate y completar, ok, acá, ¿verdad? Este, este cuadrito, por ejemplo, tenemos acá uh, a spicy peanut toffee, total candy, chocolate covered caramels and chocolate deep nugget. Imaginémonos que vamos a comenzar a con la clasificación. Here... What would we write? Spicy. Okay. Spicy. Peanut. Toffee. That is the name of the product. The code. Entonces usted lee. Eh, y verifica si hay código o no. Hay código. Our spicy peanut taffy is made with butter taffy, roasted peanuts, and cayenne chili pepper. Spicy peanut taffy is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. Seven and fifty dollars each. Is there a code? No. I code away. What some of your partners did is that they created one. Como ellos dicen, todos deben traer un código, entonces algunos lo... lo They created, they used their imagination, okay? They were very creative, but some other people did it like this because there is no information, yes? Mm -hmm. And then the size box with six units. Aparece ahí el tamaño de la caja con seis unidades? No. Yes or no? No, okay. Y algunos fueron creativos y sí lo hicieron. Ingredients, y acá usted tiene que escribir los ingredientes. ¿Cuáles son los ingredientes? Sería um, peanuts, uh -huh. butter, toffee. No, ok. Uh, butter, toffee. Ok, here. 
and then you start. Butter. Butter, toffee, roasted toffee. peanuts, cayenne, okay. chili pepper. Okay, vaya completando. Y el okay. beso sería... Wait. Is there, do you find the information about the, the, the size? Because, mm -hmm. uh, the weight, about the weight, el peso. No, no hay, ¿verdad? So we leave it empty or you write like this. Price per unit? $750. Okay, and then we have that information and we write seven and fifty cents. Yeah? And that's it. Y así va llenando el cuadro con cada uno. Ahora mm -hmm. selecciono el otro producto. Se puede decir $750. Seven fifty. Seven dollar fifty cents. Seven dollar fifty cents. Seven fifty. It's okay. Actually, that is what they use. Seven fifty, because seven dollars and fifty cents is very very formal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here you write the name of the other product. Y así va buscando la clasificación. Okay. Si hay algo que no comprenda, me avisa y yo le ayudo. Pero si no aparece la información, you just write an X because there is no information available porque no hay información disponible. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Mm -hmm. Continue. Sería Turtle Candies. Ok. That is the name of the product. Turtle Candies. Mm, do you find the, a code? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue with the completion and later I'm going to ask you, okay? To double check if you completed. My serial size, box size starting with six piece. Un, no sé, un, la caja inicia con seis piezas. Mm -hmm. Ingredients sería rich, buttery Butter. caramel. Uh -huh. Fresh roasted pecans, dark art milk chocolate. That's correct. Chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Y el weight no tiene y el price sería $6.30. That's correct. Okay. A lot of chocolate covered caramels. No have coat. It doesn't have a coat. Code. It doesn't have a code. It doesn't have a, a code. code. Mm -hmm. um, size box with six units. Mm -hmm. Ingredients: chocolate, pure caramel, and chocolates. Okay. And weight it doesn't doesn't have, have weight. And price seven dollars. Seven dollars. The last round is chocolate dipped nougat. Mm -hmm. Coat, it doesn't have the coat. No. Size, it doesn't have size. Ingredients, mm -hmm. um, chocolate good. dipped nougat. Uh -huh. It's an old-fashioned nougat candy, uh -huh. honey, honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. That's correct. It doesn't have weight, and price is $7. That's correct. So you see. Este, yo también tenía otra duda con una de las tareas de, de la... Plataforma. La voy a buscar okay. ahorita. Ok, Era... y me la comparte. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Voy a buscarlo. En, en esta, eh, es sobre estos temas, uh -huh. este, pero creo que en la, en las, en la otra sala.
Miren el anterior. Esta, este, sobre esta. Los imperativos. Sí. Ajá. Este fluin es como. Llenar. Llenar. Uh -huh. Lavo, como. Etiquetar, nivel. etiquetar. Ah, es el leer. Ajá. Verificar. Sí. Y eso es como desconectar. That's correct. Sí. Ah, bueno. Sí. Entonces, yo creo que eso sería todo. Ah, ok, very well. And I'm happy that you completed your assignments. Me siento bien y contenta de que ya terminó sus assignments en la plataforma y el mm -hmm. midterm test too, ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, Miss. Thank you so very much for giving me your time. Ok, but it was necessary, right? Pero era necesario, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Para aclarar las dudas. Ok, have a good night. Thank you for joining. I sleep well and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Have see a good you. night. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.